An update now on that frightening attack at an Antioch apartment. This morning, police recovered the car they were looking for. Metro police say they found the Toyota Camry outside an apartment complex on Hickory Hollow Place. This vehicle is linked to an incident that happened earlier this week in Antioch. Police say a 30 year old pregnant woman was raped inside of her apartment on Bell Road. The expecting mother managed to escape by jumping out of her third story window. No word yet on suspects. The investigation continues. The TBI has identified the man who was shot by an officer in Greenbrier last week. We're told 37 year old Cyrus Coleman was shot by a Greenbrier police officer during an undercover drug operation. Police say during the bus last Friday, Coleman tried to take off and hit an officer with his car. The officer then shot into Coleman's vehicle, injuring him. Coleman is out of the hospital right now and is facing a number of charges. Well, it was one of the shortest ballots that we've seen recently, so the final tallying didn't take long last night. Jim Shulman will become Nashville's next vice mayor. Shulman was up against acting vice mayor Sherry Weiner, who gave him a congratulatory speech last night. Um, I got a very nice call from Sherry Weiner. Uh, again, part of this whole thing between with, with both candidates was to bring the council together. And we are not done with elections yet. Voters will head back to the polls starting October 17th for early voting in the November gubernatorial race. The Parthenon, the state capitol and more will join more than 130 monuments and buildings and landmarks across the U.S. and Canada lighting up the skies tonight. The combination of red, yellow and orange and gray is in honor of stand up to cancer. It coincides with a national telecast that airs tonight at 7 o'clock. It's a star studded performance with appearances from Reese Witherspoon, Keith Urban, Jennifer Garner and many more. Don't miss that tonight on News Channel 5 right here at 7 o'clock.